Hey guys, Tim McCamus uh, out here in the shop this evening. I wanted to uh, start a little series of videos showing you some of the tools that we use to uh, do some fabrication work here in the shop. So uh, our guys have uh, found a lot of trick little tools over the years to make their job easier. So I want to share that with you and kind of give you uh, an idea of what we use and, and show you what we have that's available so that you can uh, uh, use it yourself. So the first thing I want to talk about is this little uh, hole saw kit here. and um, these are really nice because they um, we, we are constantly putting holes in panels and carbon, and aluminum, and steel, and everything else you can imagine. These little cutters here are very unique. <clears throat> they are uh, they're designed to make the job of putting a, a, a hole anywhere from five sixteenths to three quarter into a panel with without a pilot hole. So. Um, Basically, what you have is this little mandrel here, and it's got this spring-loaded pilot in it. So you can see that's got a point on it there. And then in the end here, there's a little set screw. Well, you got a spring and a little um, ball in there that's on the back side of this pilot. So if I push this down, you can see that that, that is spring-loaded. And um, then what the way it works is this little kit comes with a lot of stuff. So you got your Allen wrench here, which will set your um, spring tension on the back of the pilot. You've got a couple extra pilots in here. Um, you've got these uh, uh, con concave washers here. So this is gonna go together like this. So the cup side is facing this way. And then let's just say, uh, I'm gonna select this cutter here. Okay, so that's gonna go on there like this. And so that's how this assembly goes together. And you can see that pilot sticking through there. Now remember I said that spring loaded. So if I use a center punch that comes with the kit to like, um, I'm just gonna show you here. If I put this, I wanna put this hole right here and I just put a light little center punch in there, then that little pilot's gonna go down there and guide on that. And as I push down, it's gonna cut. And then when it cuts through, it's gonna eject that plug out the other side. So it makes a nice clean hole. These are fluted all the way around, so as you're cutting, the material will roll out of there. It doesn't get clogged up in the teeth. And um, these work great on every metal combination. You can imagine they work great on carbon panels. Um, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the of the carbon stuff, just just how we do that differently. But for steel and aluminum, um, titanium sheet for firewall stuff like that, these are awesome for that. So I'm going to give you a little demo of how this would work. And um, I'm going to pop this hole in here. And then I'm going to talk to you about uh, how you can use it for a carbon panel also. So the way we've got this, um, this concave washer on here is flipped. Like I said, it's rounded this way. That way, if we go all the way through, it doesn't scar the panel up. So you can see that's kind of rolled this way. It also has a couple flats on it because after you use this, it's going to try to tighten itself down on there. And you can simply grab it here with these flats and turn that and break that loose and put the uh, kit back together. So if I put this in the drill press, and you can use this in the drill press or you can use it in uh, uh, air drill, battery drill, anything that this will fit in. We use these all day at the shop. So the drill press, basically I'm going to come down and just pop that in there. And so I'm going to guide this in here, and then that's going to center itself up in there. And then as I go down through there, then it's going to eject that out. Okay, so I can tell by using that it doesn't have quite enough tension on it. So I'm going to knock it back out of there and put a little more tension on that pilot. So I'm just going to give that set screw a couple of turns there and uh, add a little more tension to that so that, uh, so that it guides itself properly in there. And then it's also flatted here so that it doesn't spin in the chuck. So now I've just got this little wood block on here to support that. But uh, So I'm going to turn this on and then uh, I'll show you how that will pop itself down through there. Okay, because I had it on that board, it uh, it stayed in place, but you can see what it did. It popped that plug right out of there. No pilot hole or anything. 
and it gave me a nice clean hole. Now this has got uh, PVC on the back of it. That's what you see there. So basically, all this would do now is we'd take a deburring tool and just go around that and knock that little edge off of it, but it has very little burr on it. And it's a nice round hole where if you tried to do this with a half inch drill bit, it would be a gnarly looking messed up hole. So you even if you put a pilot in there, you go down through with a half inch bit, it's just too big for this panel and it's gonna be a chewed up looking messed up hole. It's not gonna be round at all. This is a nice, perfectly round hole and it'll be that way every time. And these cutters are, they're very good. They last forever. If you don't abuse them, if you don't get, uh, try to force them through something and get them hot, um, they will last for a long, long time. If I had an array of holes here I wanted, I could just go down through here and lay those out, center punch them on that spot, let that pilot index on that center punch, and then just carefully drill that out, and then it'll eject that center right out of there. So we'll use these um, in on the thin carbon too, but the problem is, is that you really can't center punch it, and you really don't want it ejecting that core out of there before it's all the way through. So this is an eighth inch um, pilot in here. So what we do on like a carbon panel is we will um, drill a, a pilot hole. So we're gonna take an eighth inch bit and drill a pilot hole through there. And then what happens is this, this will guide itself. So I've got that eighth inch pilot in here. This will go through there and guide itself on that pilot and then it'll, and it'll continue to cut. So if I was cutting a carbon panel, um, one of the things we, we like to do too, so let's say this is a thin carbon panel. I'm gonna put an eighth inch pilot in here. I'm gonna use this cutter on it. On, the, on one side, I would like to go through and just mark it. So what, what I mean by that is, um, if you drill all the way through from one side, you're gonna get some fraying around this back side. So what you can do is come from this side and um, mark it. So you can just start it in there and give it about um, two or three turns with your with your battery drill or however your drill press however you're going to cut just give it a couple turns to get it get it a cut line on that one side then come around from this side and drill it all the way through now what you'll have is a nice clean hole on both sides and you won't have any fraying you won't have to try to get in there and deburr that with some sandpaper or anything like that it'll be super clean so um, these work good on tubing also it doesn't have to be flat material um, if you're drilling a hole in an inch and a half tube, same thing. You can center punch it. Um, you have to be a little more careful and you have to be a little more in control of your um, whatever you're using, whether it be a hand drill or the drill press, because as you're cutting round tubing, you're going to start, you're not going to have a consistent flat surface for all the teeth to hit. So you just have to go a little slower to get it started. And once it gets through that initial top edge, then it'll go right on through and cut into that tube. If you're in a place that you are not comfortable with, that you don't want to skip off, that you want to make sure that it goes through, you can always drill it through with an eighth inch pilot bit and then use it the same way I was just telling you to do with the carbon. You can use that to guide it through. It's just not going to eject the little center plug. It's going to end up in, in back inside of this cutter and you just have to tap it on the table and knock it out of there. So the nice thing about the center punch is, is it always ejects that plug out of there. These take, uh, less power to turn so you can use a, a any kind of battery drill that's uh, um, that's got the you know any of the 18 volt stuff any nice battery drill will uh, work on these air drills almost any air drill will work any hand air drill 3 8 or half inch um, just like any other hole saw though you just gotta turn it the right speed you don't want to burn it through there so lower speed is better you don't want to put it in a high speed air drill um, that's too fast for these. They need to spin slow and cut at their own rate and you shouldn't get any colored chips out of them. They should be, um, if you're cutting uh, chrome molly, they should put out some clear, clean chips and not burnish looking because otherwise you're getting it too hot. But like I said guys, this is available on our site. You can, uh, uh, this kit is 5 sixteenths to three quarters. So you got 5 sixteenths, 3 eighths, 7 sixteenths, half, 9 sixteenths, 5 eighths, and three quarter. And then there's also another kit that starts at seven eighths and goes up to inch and a half. Um, we also have the cutters individually. So if you break one or get one that's uh, dull, you can buy the individual cutter and you don't have to buy the whole kit. So to start out with, um, this is a really nice kit and it gives you everything you need to go up to three quarter hole. 
So check it out and let us know if you have any questions.